it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I have got a really quite quick project for you using the Garden Shed stamp set from the annual catalogue. Um, there's been lots of talk certainly in the UK about uh, digging up your lawn, maybe a bit extreme, um, and planting vegetables. Um, just in case we have a need to have fresh vegetables without going out. Um, and that reminded me that we have this lovely garden shed stamp set. So I've dug it out. Now, I have done over the years, a not oh, years, year, um, a number of projects with this stamp set where I have actually coloured in the whole card. It does take a while. It's easy. Um... You just can do it in block colours. You don't have to, you know, go mad. But I thought it would be quite nice to do a card that actually just had a pop of colour. So that's what I've done. Um, and then on the inside, I've got one of the other stamps and um, one of the sentiments, which is plant dreams, dig, doubt, dig out doubts and grow a happy life, which again at the moment is quite a nice, positive, upbeat um, sentiment. So I thought I would show you how I've made this. As I say, very quick, not difficult at all. Um, so I've got my Stamparatus set up with my stamp on it. Um, I like the idea of a Stamparatus for a big, particularly detailed stamp um, because it does give you a second chance. So... Memento ink. The colouring that we're doing is going to be with blends, although you could use um, stamp and write markers if you are very careful or if you use stays on instead. Um, but do make sure that everything's really dry before you do it. Uh, I would always say make sure everything's really dry before you do it, even if you're using blends on Memento. Do make sure that the ink is. You see, there we are. That's where I say you can get a second go. Um, just make sure, perfect, um, just make sure that, um, yes, everything is dry because you can, even with memento and blends, it may smudge a bit. I just actually want to get that little area there a little darker because that's going to be our only coloured area. So just ink up that bit and just press that. You can see that I have not done my fingernails. I'm in the middle of doing them. Um, there's just a rather a lot on at the moment and uh, I'm kind of doing it bit by bit. I will be coming back with extremely bright fingernails um, probably next time you see me. Right, so that's that. I'm going to leave it to dry. This is my liner um, and I've got the flower pot and the watering can. And again, I'm going to use Memento ink. Actually, no, I wasn't going to use Memento ink. I was going to use, or did I? I've just made another card with this and I've done something different. Um, I've made a, a fully uh, coloured version, which is why I know it takes quite a long time to do because a friend of ours has got a birthday coming up and they're a great gardener, so it seemed appropriate. Um, so just stamp that in the corner. And there we are, beautiful stamp. And then I just need my sentiment and granny apple green. Um, purely because Granny Apple Green is the colour of the paper that I'm going to be using. Um, but you could use any colour paper. I just thought it was a nice, bright, but kind of um, growing type, you know, nature type colour. So there we are, Granny Apple Green sentiment. So let's bring back in this one. And I'm using three blends. That's all I'm going to use. Um, light Poppy Parade, Dark Daffodil Delight and Dark Granny Apple Green. The first colour I'm going to use is the Daffodil Delight and all I'm going to do is colour in the hat. I'm not convinced that the ink is totally grey, uh, dry, but um, I'll just be careful. So that's that. Then Granny Apple Green for the ribbon and the bow. And then Poppy Parade for the flowers. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. 
So don't need that. What I now need is half a sheet of daffodils I like, and I like tentfold. I do tentfold pretty much all the time. Um, it's a photography thing. Uh, so I've got half a sheet of Granny Apple Green. I've got a piece of the Pleased as Punch Coordination Designer Series paper, which is available until the end of this month. Um, you can obviously use any other papers that you have. There's some in the Best Dressed that would work. Um, obviously, if you've got the Colour Family Stacks, those would work. I just liked that this was a little distressed. Um, and I've popped my glue onto my card base because that I find is a better way of sticking designer paper down than putting the glue on the designer series paper. Then I'm going to add some glue on that. So basically I like to put the glue onto the thing I'm sticking to rather than the thing I'm sticking. I mean sometimes I do. If I'm using a solid cardstock, um, so one of the coloured cardstocks, I will quite often, whoops, that's moved. I like glue because you can move it back. Um, but yes, I do like, um, oops, I do like putting glue onto my coloured cardstock um, if I'm using that as a mat. But generally I like to do, oh, you know what I'm saying. So I wanted to rush to get this done because I have had an issue with one of my front teeth. I have a crown that decided to break a few days ago. Actually, it was the tooth underneath that broke. Um, and I've just heard that the um, new crown is in. So I'm going to be rushing to the dentist and probably won't be in a fit state to talk that much uh, on when I'm back. So I thought I'd do that bit now and then it's done, which is part of the reason I haven't finished my fingernails. Anyway. So there we go. So yes, this has not dried properly before me before using the blends. Um, so this is much, much cleaner. So this is a really good example that this is not good and that is better. But really bright, really jolly. I'm going to be trying to do bright, jolly projects over the coming weeks because um, I think we need some brightness. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned it yesterday here. Uh, but I will be planning, if everything goes according to plan, uh, to do some um, live stuff on both YouTube and Facebook. So um, do keep your eyes peeled for that. Really good reason to not only subscribe to my to my YouTube, but also to hit the notification bell. Um, and that's down in the bottom right hand corner. Subscribe and then hit the notification bell. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, questions, comments below, and I'll have all the dimensions and everything I've used over on my website, which is also linked in the description bar below. Thank you very much indeed. I now have to rush and get my um, tooth redone. My bank balance is taking a bit of a hit, but there we go. Um, anyway, keep well, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.